in this tutorial guys i want to show you guys how you can get all the bible versions into pro presenter for free of charge okay and then the bible version is not only limited to english but you can even get it in your local dialect all right so let me walk you through the demonstration after that you we'll dive right into the tutorial all right so this is a third party uh software i'm using over here that i'm going to show you guys the name of it if you know it already that's okay and then what we are going to do here is that you can see that i have the output of it into the uh, pro presenter application and this is asv version watch i'm going to change it to the amplifier version then you see that it's updated nicely here i'm going to change it to the new king james version then it updates nicely over here as well all right i'm going to change it to the niv version you can see that it updates live over here and one more thing i want to show you guys is that if you don't want this output like this and they want something more advanced i've created something like this for you guys then you can easily use you can just take this one off like this you can get something like this so you can have another design like this okay and you can have another design like this okay so you can customize this to how you want it all right and then you can even bring a, a, a background to it let me show you a background so you can even bring a background for it like this then it shows that you can change it to any background i want you can click here then the background changes okay all right guys so let's dive right into the tutorials okay so um the software you are going to use for these tutorials is called bible show and i have recorded a extensive video about it in my youtube all right so i'm going to leave the video in the description below so that you guys who wants to know how to use it extensively can go and watch it and know how to use it all right so after you have downloaded the software okay this is a free software you can download it from the internet so just search bible show and it's going to pop up all right so after you have downloaded and installed the software all right the first thing we want to do here is to go to bibles over here you click on your bibles and then when you click on bibles it's going to open the bible library for you okay and then this is the bibles that you can install in the application okay we have a lot of them a lot of them all right all the versions are here and then most of the local dialect across africa and other parts of the world is here as well all right so you have the zulu the yoruba a lot all right a lot from ukraine a lot a lot a lot okay so download all the bible versions you want from this aspect from here all right so you can see that i have downloaded a few of them over here so after you are done with the bibles you want to download then we are now coming to configure the application okay one important settings we want to do here is that go to your configuration and click on display okay on the display we wanted to send our output here into pro presenter okay so we want to send it through the ndi not display window we are going to uncheck the display window and then leave only ndi output over here leave only ndi output then after that we are done configuring our bible show application that we can capture the output of it into our pro presenter okay so um i have a team that i've saved over here so let me select the team i've saved over here mine is icgc so let me cut, click on my team over here that i've saved so this is my team i've worked on and i've saved okay so you can see that when i click on it everything works perfectly fine okay so we are done configuring our bible show application all right so what i wanted to do is i'm going to hide all these buttons or areas that i don't need so i'm going to hide my monitor i'm going to hide my option i'm going to hide my program i'm going to hide my search i'm going to hide my history i'm going to hide my quick play so that i'm going to have something portable and easy to manage like this all right so when you come to our so you come to your pro presenter application over here this is where you are going to do the work all right so you, you so you come down and then you go to video input okay so click on the video input like this click on the video input like this okay so this is where you can connect our cameras or any other external uh, inputs into our pro presenter application all right so if you are interested in clicking on the plus button over here like this and then you are going to go for video configuration so click on the video configurations from here 
and then this window is going to open for us guys this, so i'm using the pro presenter version 17 okay but i know most of you guys may be having the uh, version 7 which is a bit different from this interface okay but it's just the same thing all right it's just the same thing when we come here you come to input from input then you go to your video input all right so this is what i did for the demonstration i'm not going to use it so let me take them off or let me just click another one over here so click on the plus button over here and then uh, we can see that we have our video input three all right so when you click on the plus button over here, you're going to select our device, okay? So click on our device over here, click on it, and then you can see this the sources that we can connect to, okay? So what we are interested in is Bible Show. So you can see our desktop name and then into bracket the Bible Show NDI, okay? So this is what we wanted to do, all right? So click on it like this, and then uh, let it load, let it load. Uh-huh, good. So you can see that our Bible show have been captured into the Pro Presenter application. All right. So this is the settings we wanted to do here. Since we are not getting audio or any other things, we are going to leave all the settings the same as it is. Okay. So when you are done with this, okay, when you are done with it, just keep in mind that this is. So let me rename it. Let me rename it to uh, 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 Bible show. Bible show to pro to pro presenter okay bible show to pro presenter and then just click on the exit button over here at the top you just click on it like this click on it like this for it to exit yeah come and click on the add input again and then we are going to see our third input over here the input three just click on the input three and then from there you can let it go live can click on it for it to go like since we are using prox over here let me put this one off for you guys to see let me put the image to off good so you can see that this is our our version uh, the one we just connected all right let's confirm it by what we have on the screen this is uh malachi chapter 2 verse 1 is the same thing over here all right this is our bible show output that we've captured into the pro presenter software okay so since our output have been captured nicely, right now we wanted to wanted to have a design that is going to look like this for it. So let me walk you through how you can easily do that. All right. So you are going to use some functionality in Pro Presenter called the props. Okay. So you are going to use the props to do that. So let's click on it like this. Let's click on add new props and then let's go. Let's name it as Pro. Okay. And then let's click on N uh, Pro. Then click on Enter. Okay. So right click on it and then go to edit so this window is going to open for us so in this window we are going to design how we want to display our bible output we captured from bible show into the pro presenter software all right so we have a plus button over here that we can use to do our design so i'm going to go for our rectangle design first and then we are going to give it a dimension of the size I'm going to name it 1280 I'm going to give it 1280 by 720 you can choose any of the displays you want so this is the di this is what I want to show on my screen this is the dimension I want to show on my screen okay so I'm going to go all depends on the screen you are using so just do it according to your screen size all right so this is what I want to show over here. So I want to have my Bible uh, output bigger so that the preacher man will be small. Okay, the pastor or whoever is preaching will be small. So let me go for, okay, let me use the ellipse. Okay, let me use for the ellipse here. You can go for the another square for it to be small or big. Press on the shift. Press on the shift for you to get the aspect ratio or accurately. All right. So let me just give it something like this here. Okay. So this is good. All right. And then, right. I wanted to add some strokes to it. Okay. So click on the stroke over here, and then let's give it uh, up to seven. 
or uh, maybe up to 10 or oh, okay let's give it up to seven good and then let me do the same for my circle check on the stroke and then increase it to uh, seven okay good so i have nice stroke over here so click on the on the click on the bigger rectangle and then we are going to connect our output to it so click on the field color color click on it like this then this drop down will open for you then you are interested in getting our output from the video input because we are getting it from the mdi so when the video input is selected select the source okay so this is our cam input 3 remember guys input 3 so connect your input 3 to it and then we can leave the rest as it is okay so let's come to our second design and then if you have a camera if you have a camera connected go to input okay select the input device over there you can connect it since i am not having a standard camera i am going to put a media image over there okay so let's see i want to use this image uh, a media image over here okay let me select this one here okay so if you want to scale it up click on the edit skill and then you can drag the angles okay to adjust it well to fit inside the circle okay so let's see i want to get something like this just make sure that i click on the shape for to get the aspect ratio very well so you can bring it here just just for demonstration purposes guys so uh, my my design is complete over here guys click on the show button over here and then when you click on the show button over here when you come here you see your props okay i have the one with name over here the prop so i'll make sure that i'll turn off my output here so that it will not complete turn off your output over here then click on the prop over here and then you see that we are going to get our design nicely like this guys design nicely like this okay so we can give it a background if you want so make sure that in this process make sure you have a very good computer with a very good speed so that it will not delay or it will not lag okay so guys this is what i want to show you guys how to do and i believe this tutorial have been a great help to you guys